just began and here in Orlando the temperature is already getting up to 90 degrees. You can feel the summer humidity is on its way and after a long day in the parks, you'll definitely want some place where you can go relax in air conditioning, maybe even grab a drink or two. Well, here at Point Orlando, one such place just opened the minus five ice bar. We're going to head inside, see what it's all about. Grab your coats. It's going to get a little chilly. What makes this ice bar unique as a part to some other ice bars that may be here in town? Well, I think that here we really focus on the art of ice. It's really about the experience of ice, and we really add a lot of attraction type elements into our thing. We're not typically just simply an ice bar. So the whole family can come out here and enjoy this? Absolutely. We're kid friendly up until 9 p.m. Kids love it. Now, what kind of things can they see when they get inside? There's lots of artistic sculptures. You're going to be wowed when you walk in there. It's really creative. The kids go nuts. Uh, we have an ice wave with a surfboard that kids just simply freak out over. Well, I'm ready to head inside, so uh, how about we suit up and go in? Let's get you coated up. All right. Come on in. Welcome to Minus Five. Look at this. <laughs> wow. I love the colors in here. Yeah, there's a lot of really creative, um, almost club type lighting in here to really create that wow effect. And looking around, I'm noticing that there are definitely elements here that pertain to the Florida environment. Like there's a mermaid, you got a shuttle behind us. Is that on purpose? It is on purpose. We have two locations in Las Vegas and then we have one in New York. And at every single location, it mimics the area in which they're in so that people can relate to them. How often do they have to come in here and just maintain and keep it carved and nice? A lot. We daily maintain certain things and then on a monthly basis we also bring somebody in to make sure that everything's perfect and then about every 90 days we're changing it out so you always have something new to look at. It's great. About 90 tons of ice it took to create. 90 this. tons. Yes, absolutely. Three semi-tractors full so it was a lot of fun to actually see the work in progress. And you got fur pelts here for people to sit on the ice and enjoy their drinks. Absolutely. Just Chill in the Florida room. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> so what's the capacity for this room on a daily basis? Um, this room will hold about 80 people at a time. On a flow, you could do 100, 200. We're very close to the convention center, so we have a lot of inquiries regarding group buyouts and things like that. It's a perfect place to really do something different and unique. So we got the bar over here. Absolutely. Let's to even our glasses are made of ice, which is absolutely my favorite part. Now, are there any, uh, do y'all have any specialty drinks that are just served here at the ice bar? We do. We have a specialty drink menu. Um, my personal favorite is the Frosty Mojito, just because it kind of makes me feel like I'm somewhere warm and tropical, even though I'm chilling out in the ice bar. So that's my favorite. But we have about 10 different specialty drinks that we do specifically for the ice bar. But we have a full bar, beer and wine. And also for kids, we have a mocktail menu just so that the kids can have it with, of course, non-alcoholic. So. Of course. Perfect. Let's see, what should, what should I get here? You want to do a Frosty Mojito? What would you suggest? I suggest the Frosty Mojito. It's then let's, absolutely my favorite. Let's do a Frosty Mojito then. Thank you very much. Let me try that. Cheers. Do a little cheers. There we go. Isn't that great? That is great. Yeah, it's just, you definitely have that that warm feeling of the drink, but when you when you're drinking, drinking. you feel that cool ice. And, and when mm. we're done, we can eat the glass like a popsicle. <laughs> have a little alcohol residual. So what's the what's the temperature you have to keep it at in here? Um, it's a constant 23 degrees in here. It's not really cold though, as you notice. You're not freezing, right? No, no. It's a very cool thing. We control humidity. We control airflow so that it's very refreshing when you come in here. Now with this being a family friendly environment, you said that there are some kid mocktails. What's the most popular one? The most popular one is actually Olaf Stream. Oh. Absolutely. It's reminiscent of what Olaf wanted for the summer. If you've seen the movie, I'm not going to give it away. Actually, we have one for you here. You want to try I'd it? I'd love to try it. Yeah. Awesome. Tell us what you think. Thank you. Kids definitely love this one. Ooh. I like that. What's what's in the Olaf drink? It's actually um, orange juice, coconut water, and soda. Ooh, I'm, this is really good. So obviously we're in here filming, but n normally you have a lot of music playing, right? Absolutely. We do always have uh, just high energy, upbeat music, top 40, just kind of whatever's current at the time. It, it updates automatically every single week, so it's always current, but always fun. And where can guests go to find out more information like the uh, operating hours and if they want to book a party? 
Well, the operating hours are um, Sunday through Thursday from 3 p.m. to midnight. And then Friday and Saturday, we're going to be open from 1 p.m. to 2 a.m. with kid-friendly hours before 9. And then um, our website is minus five experience. That's five, the number, not the word, dot com. And it's a great way to book a corporate event that will really stand out in their mind. So there you have it, your look at the brand new Minus 5 Ice Bar right here at Point Orlando on International Drive. The coolest experience for you and your family after a notoriously humid Orlando day.